What's up guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Olivia Ostrom and if you are new here, make sure you hit the subscribe button. In today's video, we are doing a Buff Bunny Collection try on haul, but this is not your regular typical launch. This is a swim launch. So this is the third year in a row that Buff Bunny Collection has brought back swim. And let me tell you, it just keeps getting better and better. I'm so excited to share all of these pieces with you today. So the launch is happening this Saturday, January 19th at 12 12 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. I'll put all the rest of the time zones on the screen here. And if you do choose to support me while shopping, you can use my code Olivia at checkout. If you choose to use my code, please make sure you enter my giveaway. I want to give back to you as a way of saying thank you so, so, so much for your support. It truly means so much to me and my family. Um, I do make a little bit of commission off of your purchase and I just want you to know that I really appreciate you choosing to support me. So I'm gonna be giving away five $50 Buff Bunny Collection gift cards. Um, all you have to do to enter is click the link in the description box down below and just send over a screenshot showing that you used my support code and you are entered. Um, as far as other details go, one thing I want to mention is that I am 23 weeks pregnant. I got a little bit of a belly on me and my body is definitely changing a bit. So if you've seen my hauls in the past before, just know that my measurements are changing because little girl is growing. But um, as far as sizing goes, I'm typically a medium in all Buff Bunny Collection swim. And I got a medium this time around and a medium literally fits great in all of these pieces. There are like a couple pieces that I'll mention where they're, you know, fits a little bit different. Um, but honestly, like size wise, I'm super happy with the size that I got. And it's pretty consistent with what I was wearing last year in last year's swim collection. So let's go ahead and dive into this video. Okay, the first top that I wanna share with you today is the Bermuda top. This is one that caught my attention. Might've been the color, might've been the pretty detail on it. Um, when I first saw what was coming a part of this, that was when I first saw what was gonna be a part of the Buff Bunny Swim collection. I really, really love the V detail on here. There's a little bar in here that keeps this beautiful V shape. It's the ribbed material. It's a little bit more of like a longer lined swimsuit. And especially in this season of life and just honestly since being a mom and my body changing compared to when I was like before Henrik three years ago, um, I just appreciate a little bit more coverage. And so I was very drawn into this bathing suit um, top specifically, and I'm really, really happy with it. So beautiful detailing on the front, loved the rib material. It is super, super comfortable. And then there is strappy details on the back. So all the three of the straps kind of come down to the back band. Um, it's longer lined in the back and there is removable cut pads a part of this top. One thing I will mention that I noticed in a few of the bathing suits is that some of the pads were like a little bit wrinkly. I don't know if you can tell on camera. Yeah, you can a little bit. Um, but when I put it on, you know, when you like put it on, you can kind of like see the wrinkles in the bathing suit. I, I, I tried it. I personally didn't love it. So what I did is I just grabbed, where are they? I don't think I have any on me right now. Um, I basically just grabbed one of like the boob pads from a sports bra, like the beige ones, and I stuck that in the bathing suit instead, and it worked perfect for me. I find that this can be an issue in like a lot of different bathing suits, like not just Buff Bunny Collection, but like other brands as well. And I think it's just the way that it like sits in the package, like when it's flattened. And so I probably after like one wash of like washing these pads, which I don't even think you're supposed to wash them. I sometimes do end up that might fix the issue but just one thing to note is that um, I did take out the pads and I inserted just the regular sports bra pads and that was totally fine but I do like that all of the swim in this collection does have removable pads um, so it's really nice because I know that especially with swim a lot of people don't like wearing pads I personally do depending on the bathing suit um, most of the time I do end up wearing it but just one thing that I wanted to note so this is in the beautiful color Malibu there's also three other colors that are launching um, in this Bermuda top so the next piece that I have is the shark bite bottom. This is also in Malibu, but this is the version two. The only difference from the version one to the version two is that this is a ribbed material. So it is a whole different fabric from the regular shark bite, but the actual fit of it is the same. Um, another thing that I should note for all of the Buff Bunny swim is that they have added the coin 
there we go they have added the coin to all of the pieces so in some of the pieces last year there was like the bar um, now you'll always see the buff bunny collection coin but these are a little bit more of like a Full, more full coverage bathing suit um, at least on the front um, as you can tell there's a lot more like fabric here I found it to come up past my belly button which again was really nice while I'm looking for a little bit more coverage especially a well being pregnant and then also into my postpartum journey um, I also like that there's quite a bit of coverage on the hip too like there is like probably like three inches of fabric here so it's really nice that you know you're you're the size of your body are just a little bit more covered up um, with the shark bite both the version 2 and the regular again it's the same fit it's just the material that's different um, it is reversible so it's nice that the coins on the side here because you can wear it either way um, so you can wear the little V cut in the front or you can wear the um, like flat across seam the straight across seam <laughs> in the front if you choose to also. As far as the coverage goes on the booty, I found it to be pretty similar um, no matter what way you're wearing it. So it is reversible, but um, the coverage was pretty much the same. Um, this is definitely a little bit more of like a cheeky bathing suit, I'd say. It's not like mid coverage. I'd say it's like maybe like low to mid is what I'd say. It definitely is cheeky. Majority of bathing suits in the Buff Bunny collection line, swim line are cheeky. So I'll definitely share a little bit more about like coverage um, as far as cheekiness goes as we go through the pieces. Um, another thing that I did want to mention is that with this material, I did find it to be a lot more stretchy compared to the regular Sharp Bite material. So if you prefer uh, like a fabric that does have a bit more compression, you might prefer the regular Sharp Bite versus the version two. Um, but still, this was really, really comfortable and I thought the bathing suit was so cute. So the next piece or set that I want to chat about is one of my favorites. It has been brought back since the very first collection and it is one that I gravitate towards all the time, especially when I'm looking for a two piece and that is the Chasing Waterfalls set. I love this set. I'm so happy to see that they're bringing it back in 10 colors. Um, some are in leopard print, some are also in bossy print. We also have some solids too, but I absolutely love Love this bathing suit. I love how simple it is yet so flattering. Um, it's definitely a bathing suit that has like a little bit less coverage compared to some other ones but um, overall I just love the simplicity and it's so comfortable. Um, as far as sizing goes I am a medium in this one. My boobs have grown a lot since becoming pregnant so I will say that I probably could have sized up to a large but from my last pregnancy and how much my body changed especially with my chest size um, I think that like after I'm not pregnant anymore this top will fit a lot better but I definitely was like filling this top out so I probably could have done a large while being pregnant but I'm still super happy with the medium because I think it'll work out for me more long term this swimsuit has the swoop in the front and then it has a, a little bit longer of a swoop in the back and then it has the buff bunny collection logo there all are removable cup pads with these cup pads I didn't notice any issue I thought that they were like I didn't notice any like disformation. Um, I thought that they were totally fine, so I left those ones in. And then to go along with it, we have the chasing waterfalls bottoms. So these are the exact same bottoms that have launched in the past. Nothing has changed with the chasing waterfall set. I am wearing a medium in the bottoms and they are definitely more of like a low coverage bottom um, and very, very cheeky in the back. So as you can tell, this is the front. There honestly is not much more coverage in the back. So your butt cheeks are basically out, which honestly is like really cute and really like flattering. I feel like full coverage bathing suits used to be in and now like cheeky bathing suits are definitely in and I like them sometimes but then I also appreciate a full coverage moment sometimes as well especially when I'm like with family or with Henrik or at like a public pool so I think that there is like you know a time for everything but if you want to rock a cheeky moment all the time by all means go for it. Um, so absolutely love, love, love this one. Again, it's the rib material. This is in the brown leopard, but it is coming in nine other colors as well. And if you're just looking for like a good, simple bikini set, I feel like you can't go wrong with this. 
Okay, next up we have the Surfside Bikini Top. So this is one that I actually received last year, but it is launching again this year, and it's also launching again in the bossy print. So this is definitely more of like a full er coverage bikini top, which I feel like is really, really great if you're like going surfing or like you're going swimming and you just want something with a bit more coverage or if you get sunburnt, which sometimes happens to me. As much as I try to be on it with my sunscreen, like sometimes it just gets away from me. So I definitely really like this bikini. I like that it offers a little bit more full coverage. It's definitely high necklined um, and quite simple in the front. And then on the back, it has really pretty detailing with the crisscross back. I also really like that it is adjustable so you can tie it up so it fits you best. Um, so that allows a little bit more flexibility with sizing because sometimes you like order a bathing suit or a sports bra and you're like you don't have that much flexibility because it's not adjustable so it's really nice when you do purchase an item that is adjustable because even if you get the wrong size you can still make it fit so this one has the straps that you can completely untie um, and then adjust it to your liking so this is in the black bossy print but it's also coming in six other colors as well um, and this one does also have removable cup pads too I like that with the removable cup pads they and let me just flip this inside out so you can see um, but they added seam in the inside you can't see them from the outside but they added the seams in so that the boob pads don't move around so they actually stay in place that way you you know you're not swimming and then your boob pad ends up like up here where it's not supposed to be and then you have a uniboob that doesn't happen with that so there you can see the seams um, and then the the cut pads are obviously in there next up we have the shark bite bottoms to go with the surf side top um, so these are the exact same bottoms as I showed in the Malibu however this is the regular shark bite so these ones are not the rib material it's kind of like a like a thicker um I don't know like not performance I wonder if the material is on here and it is it's 80% nylon and 20% spandex it definitely is like more of like a thicker kind of more compressive material but I really really like these ones I felt like they kind of held me in a little bit better um so it's the exact same shape as the Malibu ones that I showed you previous they have the straight across seam at the top here and then if you flip them around they are reversible so you can wear them either way I think they look great both ways just depending on how much of your stomach you want to show and where you want the V to be as far as coverage goes on the booty they definitely are a little bit more of like a cheeky not as cheeky as chasing waterfalls but definitely more on the cheeky side I am wearing a small in these and I am not a small <laughs> ever so these were definitely snug on me especially while being pregnant I definitely definitely would have preferred a medium so if they look a little bit small on me in the video it's because they are one other thing I wanted to add in is that these are the old ones from last year so they do have the buff bunny collection bar there however now they have the little coin on the side so that's just one thing that is different from the shark bite um, bottoms that launched last year compared to the ones that launched I'm this year. So the next set that I'll dive into is the Santorini bikini top and bikini bottom. I don't have this set here but I'll put a ton of pictures on the screen and I love love how versatile this set is. So I'll start, start with the Santorini bikini top but you can wear it 12 different ways like what? 12 different ways? I'm sure there's honestly even more ways that you can wear it but like I mentioned I'll put a whole bunch of pictures on the screen here so you can see like how versatile it is um, but this bathing suit is so cute. I also love that you can you know make it work for you depending on like what you like and the style that you like and the coverage that you want. The fabric on it is the nylon and spandex and similar to like the shark bite that I just showed you it is like that same matte material so it's definitely again a little bit more of like a compressive material but because it's so stringy and strappy you can adjust it to make it fit you however you want the Santorini does also have removable cup pads as well um, to go along with it though we have the Santorini bikini bottoms which are definitely more of like a fuller coverage bottom um, as you can tell in the front they come up nice and high so they offer really great coverage like on your tummy and on your lower back and then they have the pretty straps down the side which is just 
like I've never seen a bathing suit like that so I really do love that detail I also think that it just adds like a level of like sexiness because like you can see like a little bit of skin on the side between the lacing versus it just being like completely solid all the way through. I really like that the bottoms are adjustable. So again, if you do like, you know, want to make it a little bit looser or tighten it up a bit, or maybe if you're going for a swim, you don't want to lose your bottoms, you can tie it nice and tight. Both the Santorini bikini top and bottoms are launching in eight different colors. All right, the next piece that I'm gonna dive into is one that also launched last year. That is the Sun Kissed Bikini Top and Bottom. Um, this is a color that launched last year, so it's actually not launching in this color this year, but I still wanted to, to show it to you just because I didn't get any of the ones that are launching this year, and it is exactly the same, I think, except for maybe the branding. Yeah, just the branding on the bottoms, which I'll dive into in a second. But So this is your least coverage bikini top and bottom that Buff Bunny Collection offers. Offers. Um, so if you do like to show a little bit more skin or you just like your typical like triangle bikini this is probably going to be your favorite it is really 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 cute I just personally prefer having a little bit more coverage um, especially just with my body changing I just I just put this on and I wasn't like, yes, this is it. I was kind of like, I need a cover up. So I really do like this one. And I know that a lot of ladies like absolutely love this. And like, this was one of their favorite bathing suits that was launching. I just personally like a bit more coverage. Overall though, the fit of it is great. It is your classic triangle bathing suit on the front. There is like a double kind of like seam band thing at the bottom here and then it has a pretty detail in the back there's three knots that come down the back and then you can adjust it to your liking it is really cute because you can like wrap the the tie around like your front too you could tie it in the front if you wanted to and kind of do what you want with the straps i am wearing a medium in the sun kiss top and it is coming in eight different colors the bottom is also coming in eight different colors as well so again this is not one of the colors that is launching this is one that launched previous and this is actually the size small um again i'm never a small i think they just sent me a couple smalls just because that might have been all that they had when they sent out my package last year um but as you can tell this is definitely your lowest coverage buff bunny collection bottom um so not much coverage in the front it doesn't come up super high either i like that it has the strings on the side though so if you do want to make it like a little bit more high rise you can adjust it if you do want it to be a bit more low rise you can leave it low rise as well and then in the back there honestly is not much more coverage compared to the front um this bit this bar the buff Money collection logo won't be there anymore um on the sun kiss bikini bottoms um there are there is no logo at all i believe there's just a little logo on the the end of like the drawstrings there's just the little buff bunny collection b so i may have like personally preferred these bottoms a little bit more if i had a medium in them but again i think i just i just prefer a little bit more coverage on like the sides of my bikini and um like cheekiness as well but um one other thing i did notice about this bikini and it could have been like a sizing issue it could have also been because it was like a light color is that i did get a little bit of camel toe in it um honestly i got quite a bit of camel toe in it so just one thing that i wanted to note i'm not sure if that was just like a me thing but i do just like to let you know about these things all right, let's get into some one pieces. So this one piece is brand new to Buff Bunny Collection. This is called the Shark Bite One Piece. And I love, love how simple it is on the front. I feel like it's a really great piece. If you like the Surfside um, bikini top with the Shark Bite bottoms, but you just want maybe a more full coverage option or you just prefer one pieces, I feel like you will love this one. So it is very simple on the front, definitely more of like a higher neckline coverage on like decent coverage on the armpit. I'd say decent coverage on the hip. Some bathing suits can, you know, come up really high and like show a lot of hip. This one definitely is like average coverage on the hip. And then there is a party on the back. So there are the straps that are similar to the Surfside bikini top. Um, so it's great because it's super, super adjustable. And then on the back, it does dip down into a 
little bit of a V, similar to the Shark Bite bottoms. So this is like a really great one piece because I feel like it's sexy on the back, but there's good coverage on the front. Um, and it's not like super, super cheeky either. You do get a little bit of cheek. I'd say it's like mid coverage, like cheekiness. A few things that I noticed about this piece is that it's difficult to get into. The best way to get into it is to like step into the legs first and then untie the strings and then pull it over your head and stick your arms through. It was a little bit of a challenge to get into, I'm not gonna lie, but once it was on, it was fine. Um, one other thing that I noticed about like this bathing suit or this one piece specifically is that the bottoms were a little bit snug. Um, this material is that same like matte nylon spandex compressive material. So I have noticed that my glutes have grown since being pregnant. I just have more body fat on me and I found the bot like the bottom of it to be like a little bit snug so I would say like if you're really stuck in between sizes and you do have like bigger glutes or bigger hips it might be worth sizing up especially because the top is adjustable so if the top ends up being like a little bit loose you can always just tie it up a little bit tighter but if your bottoms are like too snug you might be like spilling out a little bit so I felt like I was kind of spilling I think if I wasn't pregnant this probably would fit me a little bit different and a little bit better but again just wanted to let you know like my personal sizing preference. This piece is coming in four different colors and it does also have the removable cup pads as well and they are sewn in place too so you won't end up having a boob pad down around your belly button because nobody wants that. Okay, the next piece that I wanna mention is one that I don't have here, but it is beautiful and I so wish I had it to review for you guys. I honestly wasn't sure how I was gonna feel about this piece just because when we like received our PDF, they didn't have any pictures of it on models. We only saw like the drawings of it. So I couldn't like really visualize like what it was gonna look like, but I freaking love this piece on. Like it is so, so, so pretty. If you're looking for like a cute, unique, like one piece, this is it. So it has one strap and it is a one piece, but I love that it's only connected on one of the sides. I also love that it's kind of like a two-tone bathing suit. So the top's different from the bottom. And then the bottom offers like a lot of coverage, but it's still so flattering. So it covers the majority of your stomach, which I absolutely love. Um, and I just feel like this style and this design is just so unique. I also love like the different patterns that they brought into. So this bathing suit is definitely more of like a medium to full coverage and it does have removable cup pads as well. If you watched my swim collection from last year, you know that the Laguna One Piece stole my heart. I'm actually wearing it right now. Um, I got it in the new beautiful terracotta color. So I love this one piece. Last year, it only launched in black. This year, it's launching in this beautiful terracotta as well as tango, which is like more of a purple color. Um, but it is the exact same as last year, just new colors and I love love it so much. I feel like if you're looking for a bathing suit that has like good coverage um, on the front and the back, one that you can rock while pregnant, while postpartum, while you're at the pool with the kids, um, and you just want something with a bit more coverage, I this is the one that I always gravitate towards and I've worn this black one so many times now. I've also like lent it to so many friends and stuff too. So I really love this one piece. I like how the material is like a light rib. You can kind of probably see it a little bit better up close. So it has this like very, very subtle ribbing detail. The material on it is very, very soft as well. So it's super comfortable. Um, it has this functional zipper in the front. So you can zip it all the way up to the top. You can zip it part way down to your boobs if you want, or you can zip it all the way down, which is very helpful to get into. Um, one of my favorite features about it though, is that the zipper actually locks. So if the zipper is like out like this, you can move it up and down. But if you push it downwards, like you can't, it, it won't move anywhere. Like it's not moving at all. So it actually has a locking feature. So if you want to, you know, show off a little bit of boobage, um, you don't have to worry about like it slowly creeping down throughout the day. 
So in the terracotta, I am wearing a size medium, and right now this medium fits me great. Um, last year, I actually got a size small, which this is definitely very snug on me right now. Um, when I'm not pregnant, it does still fit quite snug, so I think a medium would be a better fit for me overall, pregnant or not. Um, but I just wanted to show you, I'll also show you a video of me wearing this one, um, like trying it on so that you can see how this small fits me too. I just felt like it was quite compressive across my boobs right now, the small. I just want, you know, a little bit more breathing room. So I do feel like this medium in the terracotta did fit me better. As far as coverage goes though, it's definitely more full coverage on the back. It has the really pretty coin detailing at the top here. And then we got lots of booty coverage. I would say that this bathing suit offers like the most coverage compared to any of the bathing suits. The Venetian might offer similar coverage. I'm gonna have to like double check on that. I'll, I'll put it on the screen here, but um, overall this one definitely has the most coverage out of any of the bathing suits that I have. All right, so let's move into cover-ups. I will say, Buffany collection killed it with the cover-ups this launch. I love all of them. I really feel like there's something for everyone in this launch as far as bathing suits go, but also for cover-ups as well. Um, so the first piece I'll share with you is one that's new to me, but not new to you if you've seen Buffany collection swim before. They came out this with this piece last year, I believe. Yeah, I don't think it was in the first launch, but it was definitely in last year's launch, but this is my first time trying it out, and I'm definitely impressed with it. It is the Odyssey Wrap, and it is so pretty and cute. I feel like it offers like the perfect amount of coverage for like a longer skirt. Um, so it comes down like just above like my ankles. I am 5'8", so it probably does, you know, go a little bit lower on most people, or if you are a little bit shorter, like five feet, it probably will go to the floor on you. But I think that this skirt like works at any length and it looks absolutely amazing. So it has this elastic waistband at the top. Um, I didn't know how this waistband was going to feel, but across my belly, it was actually quite comfortable. I did pull mine up a little bit higher just so it kind of went like past my bump, but you could definitely wear this like more lower rise if you wanted to. Um, again, that's what I love about like their pieces is you can kind of make them fit your body and like your body type. Um, so you feel most comfortable. It has this beautiful tie in the front, which I think is like one of my favorite like features about this piece. And then this beautiful slit down the sides so that you can show off a little bit of leg. I do feel like this is definitely more of like a beachy vibe. Like I don't know that I'd feel 100% comfortable like wearing this skirt out just because it is like quite the, the slit comes quite high and there's not that much coverage on your thigh. Um, so I do think that this is more of like a beach cover up compared to like something that you would wear out and about. Um, but overall, I'm so impressed with this. It's a very, very comfy material. It is 71% modal, modal. <laughs> 26% polyester and 3% spandex. So it is quite soft and I got it in black. I definitely prefer all of my cover-ups to be in black. I find those are the ones that like I always go to grab. Um, so it is what I requested in my cover-ups this time as well. One thing I want to mention about the wrap is that like the actual like tie itself, you can tie it up in the middle if you want to. You can tie it up on the side if you choose to as well. Um, I like that you can kind of move it um, depending on how you're feeling. And then I am wearing a medium in this and the medium fits me perfect. The next cover up is the Cayman cover up. It is more like a dress kind of sarong style. I don't have it here, um, but it is launching in two different colors. It's coming in the lavender leopard print as well as the brown leopard print. It is a mesh material. So I'll show you what the mesh material looks like just to give you an idea. So it is definitely like more of like a see-through material, but this one is like more of like a full coverage kind of cover up. So if you're looking for like a dress or something that um, is versatile and you can tie up a few different ways this is a great option um, and it definitely sounds like it would be like a very lightweight cover-up too with it being like that mesh material so if you're more into like a dress versus the skirt or a pant um, that I'll show you in a second then that would be a great option for you 
The next cover up is the Odyssey pant. I am so impressed with this pant. I don't have any like pant cover ups. I feel like I usually do like dresses or skirts and I love this. I'm so happy with it. So it is the mesh material that I just showed you and it has the same kind of um, wrap detail in the front. I like it because you can tie it again where you want to. You can tie it up in the front. I preferred it a little bit more off to the side but you could definitely do either or. It has the elastic waistband in the top and then it is just a pretty simple pant down the leg until you get to the very bottom. Um, it has a drawstring feature so you can wear it like a regular pant and have it kind of be more like a straight leg or you can cinch it up and tie it. Um, these pants have a 30 inch inseam so if you are a little bit you know taller like myself it is nice that they do have some great length to them. I personally preferred the look of it tied up but I think it looks great either way. I feel like that just comes down to like personal preference. I'm still in like the tight joggers look versus like some people like the more flared or straight leg. So that's just definitely my own like personal preference. Um, but overall the fit of these pants is just I'm just so pleased with them. I didn't know how I was gonna like them from the pictures. I am so glad that I gave them a chance. And they're the like soft mesh material. I know that sometimes mesh can be like a little bit itchy. These ones are not itchy at all. I'm super, super pleased with them. In that same mesh material, they have the sail away sarong, um, which is basically kind of just like a mini skirt um, that you can like tie up on the side. So if you're looking for something that just has like a little bit of coverage, just something basically to cover up your booty. If you're at the beach or you just want to wear a bikini and you kind of want just like something, but you don't want to put on full on pants or a full on skirt, then this sarong is just great that you can just like tie around the side. Um, it is really, really cute and it is coming in six different colors and the flow shorts are coming back yay I'm so excited these are the flow shorts version two so they have made some minor changes compared to the original shorts which I'll go through in a second um, here they are in the white leopard they are coming in eight different colors which is great there's some different patterns as well as some different like solid colors um, but these are your flowy shorts um, these are the only flowy shorts that Buff Bunny has offered and I'm really happy with them. Um, they did make some changes to these compared to the last ones. Um, the first thing that I noticed when I pulled these out of the package is that the material is a little bit different from um, flow shorts that have launched previous. I'd say these are like closer to like the marble um, feel um, versus like the solid ones were a little bit more of like that. You can even hear it. I don't know, like windbreaker kind of material where like these ones are definitely more of like a softer kind of feel. So just for reference, the material on the new ones here are 97% polyester, 3% spandex, and the old ones here are 90% nylon, 10% spandex. So they have the drawstring on the front and then they have pockets on both of the sides and then on the back they made one change to one of the back pockets. Before both pockets were just open like this one, now you have one zippered back pocket. So you can actually like roll these up into them like completely if you want to. This was an idea that Buff Bunny Collection had which is so cool, wow. The zipper's actually adjustable. As you can tell, it's my first time doing it. The zipper's actually adjustable. So this is great. If you're like going to the beach and you're like, I wanna bring my shorts, but you want them to like take up no space in your bag. That's so cool. Ah, uh, wow, amazing. So we'll just undo that. Let me get my shorts back out. As far as sizing goes, I did find these mediums to fit a lot looser. So I will show you these mediums compared to the black ones on. Both are mediums, however, the black almost look like they're smalls. I feel like the new version two fits way more true to size. So if you were sizing up before, I would say, I would say to try staying true to size because I think it'll fit you a lot better this time around. Um, I even found these to be really comfortable on my stomach. Um, when I tried the black on like the previous pair, they were quite tight around my stomach. Like I wouldn't be able to like wear them very long and even around like my lower belly area too where these ones were like quite flowy and like very comfortable. I think I'll be able to wear these through like my entire pregnancy, which is freaking awesome because it's very hard to find like athletic shorts 
shorts that fit comfortably during pregnancy. In the inside of these shorts, there is the like spandex material. Um, they are a two inch inseam. I do wish that on like this color, they would have done, okay, this is just me being picky. I just like to point out the details for you. I know for some people it doesn't matter, but like for me, if I'm spending money on like athletic wear or anything, like I wanna know all the details. So sometimes, Maybe I'm oversharing, but I just like to let you know all my thoughts. Um, but the spandex in here is white and it kind of threw me off because the like leopard is like, I'd say it's closer to like a cream. You can probably tell better from here. So as you can tell, like at the top here, there is the black and white leopard. I feel like it's a little bit more of like a cream compared to a white. And then I kind of wish that the spandex would have been black versus white. I also think I just prefer more of like a black spandex, especially Actually, like with like a busy pattern like this but that's very very minor that's just me being super picky so this is actually the only like piece that isn't launching um, a part of like the swim collection or this is the only like active wear piece that is launching but I also think that you could definitely wear this like as like a swim piece too like I would for sure pair this up with like a black bathing suit top and like wear this um especially if i'm just like hanging around in the backyard like with henrik or something like that i think that like this kind of like outfit would still go perfect together but i also think the timing of like bringing these flow shorts back out is just perfect because i love these so much and i'm really really happy that they have like a loose flowy short now because it's sometimes i just don't want to wear tight clothes you know so if you are planning on shopping on Saturday and you want to support me, you can use my code Olivia at checkout. Please make sure you enter my giveaway for a chance to win one of five $50 Buff Funny Collection gift cards. Thank you so much for watching this review. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and I will catch you in the next video. Bye.